unit one section one point two part three and here we are going to look at multiplying and dividing fractions and the best way is really to explain by using examples so for multiply i'm going to do some examples so imagine i had 11 over 4 multiply by 1 over 2 your multiplying rule simply says top times top bottom times bottom so 11 times 1 equals 11 4 times 2 equals 8. Sometimes we can do some simplification before we do the multiplying. So in this case, I can say, oh, wait a minute, 2 can go into itself once. I've suddenly lost the color in my pen. there's my 2 can go into itself once and it can go into 7 into 14 7 times now I do top times top over bottom times bottom right so basically if you have to times fractions, you do numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. But first, look if you can cancel. you can cancel any top with any bottom remember this only works with numbers once we get to algebra and there are separate terms we're going to change the rules slightly but this is your basic rule before we do dividing I'm going to teach you a new word reciprocal It basically means flip it over. And again, I'm going to explain by doing a few examples. So let's say uh, I'm going to do a little table. So if my number is 2 over 7, the reciprocal will be 7 over 2. If my number is 1 over 3, the reciprocal would be 3 over 1, which really is just 3. If my number is just a 5, then I have to realize it means 5 over 1, so that I can find the reciprocal, which is 1 over 5. So for dividing, I'm also going to use examples. When we have, for instance, a half divide by a third, what you do is the first number you don't change. Then you change the divide into a multiply and you put the reciprocal of the last number. Now you follow your multiply rules. 1 times 3 is 3 over 2 times 1 is 2. Right, another example, 4 over 7 divide by 1 over 7. Hold the 4 over 7, change the divide, and flip over the 1 over 7. Now you've got times, but here we can see we can cancel. Remember they don't cancel to zeros. You say 7 divides into itself once, so they cancel to 1s. 
Now you do top times top. 4 times 1 is 4 over 1 times 1 is 1. And that answer is then really just 4 because 4 over 1 is just 4. Let's do a last example. Slightly a little bit more tricky to it. Just because there's more things that we have to think of together. So first thing I have to write the 9 as a 9 over 1. I want to know clearly which is numerator, which is denominator. The divide becomes a multiply. The negative does not change. It stays a negative, but then the reciprocal of that number. Okay, my rule says 9 times 3 is 27. But can you see I have a positive times a negative? over 1 times 1 and that answer is just negative 27.